Hey there, Timmy. Jeepers, mister, you startled me. How about taking a break from that fine chemistry textbook to come learn about lab safety? That sounds swell. Hold on there, Timmy. You can't go to the lab dressed like that. Why not? Before heading into the lab, we need to learn about proper lab attire. You'll need eye protection, a lab coat, long pants, and closed-toed shoes. Aw, oh, man! Better suit up to go to the lab. And don't forget to tie back long hair. Hold on there, sport. Aren't you forgetting something? You still need your lab goggles. Now you're ready to go to the lab. Jeepers, mister, where are we? We're in the lab, Timmy. This is where all the important chemistry research is done, and where the grad students live. See the lab technicians hard at work? And here's one of our friendly lab technicians now. He's come to show us where all the important safety features in the lab are located. It's important that you know the location of the incident report sheets, the first aid kit, and the MSDS forms, it's also important for you to know the location of the fire extinguishers. Whoa, careful now. And make sure you memorize the emergency phone numbers and know where the nearest exits are. Before we start working with any chemicals, we need to learn how to safely exit the lab in the event of an emergency. First, let's look at how not to exit the lab. Now let's see the proper way of exiting the lab. Remember, in the event of an emergency, stop what you're doing, remain calm, and exit the lab quickly and carefully. We're almost ready to start working with chemicals, but first, we need to make sure we know how to properly handle all the lab equipment. Make sure you're using each piece of glassware correctly, and make sure you're using the right equipment for each experiment. When using the fume hood, make sure not to raise the shield too high. And most importantly, never stick your head inside the fume hood. If you spill a chemical on yourself in lab, you'll need to know where the safety showers are located and how to use them. <laughs> Working with chemicals can sometimes be dangerous. 
Uh-oh, it's Mr. Splatter. But don't worry, you have your lab goggles. You show him, Timmy. If you do get something in your eye, you'll need to rinse it out at the eyewash station. Lots of accidents can happen in lab. If you accidentally break a piece of glassware, make sure it's disposed of properly by placing it into the broken glass bin. And remember, never bring food or drink with you into the lab. And always remember to label everything. Really? Everything? That's right! Dr. Robert Reed! That's right, Tommy! It's Timmy. That's right, as long as you remember these safety rules, you'll be safe in the lab and have a great time. Hi, I'm Robert Reed and I approve this message. <laughs>